This video is made available by the Berea College Technology and Applied Design Program under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. So in the last video, I claimed that we were going to learn how to turn things on and how to turn things off. And part of that was that we started to use functions. So here we've got our function monster, skinny little chicken legs. And the function that we learned to use uh, first was pin mode, and it took some parameters. So those two parameters are what we feed the function, and that's what keeps the function monster happy. Um, so the function is called pin mode, and it takes two parameters. The first parameter is 13. The second parameter is output. And that tells us that we want to make pin 13 an output. Now, if we want to turn off a pin, you might think that, do we need to change it from an output? Well, the answer is no, it's, it's perfectly okay for it to be an output. Um, so turning things on and off does not involve changing that. But here, where we said digital write, and we said to set the pin to a high voltage, that turned it on. And so here, to turn it off, we need to change one of the parameters to digital write. We want to make it go low. So high is 5 volts, low is 0 volts, and so we're going to need to change that. So we change the word high to low, and let's try, try verifying that. Seems like the Arduino environment likes it. We could try changing it to off, and the Arduino environment says that it has no idea what off is, so you can't just make things up. Low is one of the two words that the Arduino will accept. So if we say to write a low voltage to pin 13 and we send it to our Arduino, here it uploads, your program will run and it will do the most amazing thing. It will turn off the LED. Now here's the thing, the LED was already off, so that means the LED will stay off. It's not one of the more exciting programs you can write. But that is how you turn things off. And that's our video.